Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ether Bandit's Garage. Today, we're doing a little bit of preparation. So this is my 1945 Farmall H that I restored my senior year of high school for uh, stocks for FFA. And this is hooked up to my uh, 1948 Alice Chalmers All Crop Combine. Full type, of course, which it's kind of obvious. <coughs> So I planted some uh, some oats, about two and a half acres of it, in November, December, and I really wasn't thinking it was going to make too much of a crop because it got it got about six eight inches tall. We got a real hard freeze, and that knocked it down. And then it got going again, and we had another real hard freeze, and I mean that just knocked it out again. And that happened one more time. And then I, I mean, I had about given it up for loss. That's why they say farming ain't for the faint of heart. But it kept it. We got some rain on it. Like, I mean, at just the right time, which a lot of people need some rain. We can, we could use some more. And, uh, it finally got, got going enough for I think we'll make a decent crop if this combine will hold up. Which, a couple things I was doing to it was the uh, the stop here, or the lock for the PTO shaft is pretty stiff. And then, yeah, it's pretty stiff. And so I've been beating it back. I heated it up, and I've been beating it back and forth. And I have it working pretty good, if you have a hammer. And uh, also, I also have some footage of, I just... I just greased the auger and uh, made sure every, this was working, functioning right. Because I do have a new belt for it, but <laughs> I looked at how you had to take that belt off. Let me grab a light. And uh, it really doesn't seem very enjoyable. I mean, you have to pull that PTO shaft off and, uh, and that guard off. And I was like, you know, the belt works just fine right now. Which that PTO shaft wouldn't be too bad, four bolts. But, works just fine right now. Because I just, I have a new belt hanging up. Hanging up over there for it. And uh, a couple cool things about this combine. Are that, this is how you raise and lower your header. And then your header, which this is a, a later one. Or, I don't understand... Some, some, most all crops had a six, I mean, a four fin windrow, or whatchamacallit. And this one has a six fins, which this is better. That's why more modern combines have more. Cool thing about this is that there's a sprocket that is in this toolbox right here that'll bolt onto this, and it'll, a chain comes up to this. And it'll actually spin with the ground speed. That way you always have, it's always spinning at the right speed. Which I thought that was really cool. Some farmer, well, so the story I have on this thing, which this is a uh, very sweet man gave this to me. And uh, he, he told me he had two of them. And he used to pull it with the John Deere B. And uh, it had a engine on it right here. Which I have a picture of the last time it was ran with the engine on it, I believe. And I will, I'll, I'll try to post a picture of it here if I remember. Um, but he said that this other one 
had PTO on it. So he got tired of cranking that, that uh, I think it was a Wisconsin four-cylinder. And uh, he said, I put the PTO on there. In which I, I put these new tires on there to get it home. But I ended up just pulling it home behind my truck. But he said the story he gave me was this one had journal bearings. Or Babbitt, he called them Babbitt bearings for the wheel bearings. But the other one had tapered rollers. So he put the tapered rollers, tapered roller axle underneath this. Which, I mean, it wasn't that bad to do. But that's still like, that's a major feat. And especially, I mean, like, I'm spoiled with, I have a, a shop with a cement floor. He didn't have no cement floor. He didn't have no cordless air tools. I mean, no cordless impacts or nothing. So, I mean, that, that was a major feat. And then before his time, or before he had it, Mr. Brown had it, um, this, somebody had added on to the grain tank. Because, I mean, this is where you hold where it holds your grain which i'm sorry about the flashing it's just this led shop light um somebody added on to this tank because i guess they didn't they wanted a little bit more capacity i mean they did a good job and i didn't notice until i was looking at pictures online and like i've put i've put all new belts on this thing like this is a new belt which these are special belts like this is a double a double V-belt. Like, there's a V on this side, and there's a V on the other side. Because it spins... Your can it's, This one has canvases instead of augers. Which I'll show you the canvases, because I have them. And, which... See, I mean, there's a real big... I replaced all these, every single belt, except for that one. And I have everything tensioned. And I was told... But this was last set up for harvesting oats. So, I'm really not going to try not to adjust anything. Although I do have a manual. And we're going to see what happens. Which I can flip. I can. I might flip this. the whole PTO on for y'all to hear it. Just because, I mean, it makes some racket. But it it is kind of late. But, um. It. It's something else. And I, I think it'll hold up pretty well. I mean, I don't know. But only one way to find out. Because, I mean, the oats is about ready to harvest. But I've been I've been gone for a while. I haven't been on posting YouTube videos for a while. Because I've been working on this uh, Ford pickup. Trying to get it out of my shop. Because that's not mine. I'm just working on it for somebody. But it seems like I can't win for losing. And, uh got to stay a little bit longer just because some recent issues developed but i mean it, it, see this is cool because on most combines the debris exits sorry i was flipping this thing down the debris exits from the back but back in the uh 40s it exited on the side which this is just a alice chalmers thing from my understanding i don't know i really don't I haven't been around that many pull type combines. This is my first one. But I mean, you can see it's got, it's got conveyors here. It's got a long belt right here, which I mean, that sucker is long. Which I need to make a new, I have a new idler pulley, but all this whole bracket back here is bent for some reason, somebody that's it's been bent like that for a long time and i need to fix that because i need to tension this belt a little bit more um this comment sorry it's i'm really kind of all over the place tonight i'm just trying to show you all this and this kind of was an in, impromptu video might scream like a i might scream because there's yeah a wasp nest right there But, yeah, you can see, you can see that devil in there. Well, let me get right back to you. All right, now that we got that wasp taken care of, 
Um, uh, here is the inside of this combine, which it grain comes in over here, which those fins, it's so cool. Those fins direct it to the back. So that way it's sifted as much as possible. And then it exits on the very other end of this, which I've seen, I think in some, like a, my buddy has a, a pull type deer one and it actually has canvases up hung on the walls to help keep the grain from flying to the very end before it gets sifted out. But you can tell I've made a new block right there and I need to make a new block right there. Which that one, I mean, it needs to be replaced. And uh, I have over here, I do actually have the canvases for this. Which this is the old man Mr. Brown gave these to me, and uh, they're very, they're in very good shape. They've been sitting in his garage, they're very flexible. It's very, it's cool because these are what pulls the grain up. Because they spin, those canvases spin on this roller down here, and this roller here, and then there's another one that spins on this roller. And this roller and by doing that they spin and you, the grain is cut on this cutter bar right here and these teeth move back and forth and uh, it's cut and then it goes these I don't remember what that's called pushes the grain onto the canvas it comes up into the canvas and it's thrown right here and I guess this is another canvas to help keep the grain from falling back to the main feed part. I know there's a board. He gave me two brackets that bolt on right here on the other side, and there's supposed to be a board there. I presume that's to help keep the oats from going back overboard. And then um, it goes in that, which, in that centrifuge or concave or whatever. And this whole thing will spin. Really surprised the wasp didn't come out of there. But Alice Chalmers has so much adjustability built into this. Like this crank is like, you're like, wow, that's weird. A shaft from on this crank runs all the way to the other side to adjust the speed. It's like it's on a tapered pulley. And that is to adjust you can tell uh what pulley is it hmm yeah it is to adjust how far this big belt is on this pulley because you can tighten it and it'll suck it up you can loosen it and it'll drop it to spread apart and that'll increase or decrease speed as it sees fit which there's also more simple ways to do it like this right here See how far the pulley's pushed in? You could adjust, you adjust spacers within the pulley to, to bring it in or push it out based upon the speed you want this canvas to turn at. Like it's so cool, just all the old technology they have in this. Like I have, I have stared at this combine for far longer than I'm actually willing to admit because like everything is so like there's so much to learn from this which i'm sure is still partially in new combines but i'm sure there's some technology that's lost like these wood block or fail points because this whole table moves back and forth see how it's on this there's a pin there a pin there pin pin that's because this whole thing moves back and forth on this on this eccentric right here. See, as that spins, it goes, it spins round and round. That's pulled back and forth. And see, here's another example of one of those tapered pulleys, which I have a light sitting here. Sorry, it's dark, it just, I've been busy. <clears throat> so you can see there are spacers there that you could take out or put more in. You can see there's more spacers right here. And as a result, um, the pulley sits this far in 
And in the manual I have, it'll tell you how many RPMs that pulley is going to turn. And if you say you want to harvest oats, you look in the manual and say, oh, I want oats. It's going to tell you how far that needs to be in there to turn at what RPM. It's so cool. And then this spring here, or see how there's these springs? That's a clutch. This is designed, I think, yeah. So you can pull that out or push it back in. Which from the looks of it, it looks like somebody bypassed this and just tightened them down really tight. But, you know, we're not going to mess with it. And then see, here's the fan that blows all the stuff out of the combine, actually. And you can adjust how much wind, how much fan actually goes in there with two levers. See, because there's one. Sorry, I'm trying to... It's not hard to easy to do this with one hand there's one and then you can spin it one way or the other spin it up and then here's the other one because there's two of them see so you can block airflow or increase airflow with these two things right here and then yes there is supposed to be a twist in this belt i know it threw me off for a while too i'm like what is going on and i probably need to make a new board there as well But, and you can tension stuff tighter or looser with these, with this, which I don't even, oh, but that's because there's a conveyor underneath more. That's the conveyor. It's all finely tuned and, I mean, for the 40s, that's pretty technical. Like, see, this is how you tension your canvas. Because you pull it down and you push it tighter. And here's a lock for it to, to tension the canvas. And then you can even adjust how low or high this is based upon the crop you're harvesting. Which it's designed, let me get around here. It's designed so you can have a rope somewhere. And you pull it, pull it up, and it'll raise this whole contraption up. I really don't quite understand it. And I'm really not going to mess with it. Because that's just... That's where it worked for Mr. Brown for harvesting oats. Because that's what he did with it. So I'm pretty sure it'll work for me. We, uh... I mean, there's like a spring there for your header. Like, it's very... It's something else. Let me tell you what. Well, I'll see if I can't turn this PTO on on this tractor and get a couple features to work. We'll be right back. Okay, ladies and germs, so as you can tell, or you might not have been able to tell, but this pulley, it was, this is your drive pulley for this whole back apparatus. And it uh, kind of had an issue in the past, or a little bit I ran it, where it would hang up. And I was always really confused, like, why is it doing that? And it would just slip that pulley. And that's why I wanted to tighten the belt some, which, I mean, y'all could tell the belt was too loose. And I guess, um, we just figured out why. Or I just did. So, apparently, because normally I was like, if I helped it along a little bit, it would be fine. Apparently, this link broke off of this chain, which I don't know if it did it now or what caused this to happen. 
and bent this one. This was bent, this was up, up top. And so apparently I'm going to have to straighten this out and or, yeah, probably straighten it out and take a little bit. Or we might just not have that. I don't know, but huh. That, that's an interesting find there, which I can't, none, none other ones seem to appear bent or to have this issue. I don't understand why it would just be this one, which, huh, that really kind of throws a whole damper on this whole project, huh, oh, we'll figure it out. Might just, honestly, probably just gonna end up not having one of those bars in that spot. And it, I know I can straighten that one out, but this one seems a little special right now. Which <sighs> we might, I don't know. We're just gonna have to figure that out. Which, oh, yep. We just popped that rivet out. Let's go look at this in the uh, light of our shop. So, that does look like a recent break. But, just need to... I bet we might be able to straighten that. Because the only reason it makes me sketched is this is like a triangle. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I might post this video tonight, probably so. Well, I guess on uh, <laughs> on that note, which I mean, y'all could tell from the video with it running, like, yeah, I don't know if y'all could tell, but it was blowing a bunch of air because like it blew those two Pepsi bottles out, which those are ancient Pepsi bottles. And then it was working all this junk out, which I still don't understand why it bent that. I have no idea. We're not running it anymore tonight until I... I don't know what to do about that chain. Huh, that's... Huh. That's gonna be a... Kind of an issue. Well, I know we'll figure something out. Well, at least get it out there and try to run a little bit before it completely lets the smoke out. Which I mean it. There's like nothing for it to hang up on. Because all those other ones are fine. Aren't they? Yeah. Unless. What about that piece of tin right there? Huh. Yeah, no, they're not getting caught up in that. Huh. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think... Here, I'll go ahead and show you all this. Some, uh... Sprocket that bolts onto the wheel. It's just... There's one bolt. And you can tell where somebody has put it on many times with a pair of channel locks on that bolt. And honestly, I'm going to keep running it just, just because. Which, I mean, here's a chain tensioners. This is the chain for that. I mean, there's all kinds of goodies in there. So I ain't even... A lot of spark plugs. Definitely a lot of spark plugs. I wonder... Huh. I take it. Breaking these chains was a fairly common thing. I don't know. I don't know. There's all kinds of goodies in here though. A bunch of spark plugs. You can tell. This thing used to have a gas engine on it. But. We will. I hope y'all enjoyed watching my combine blow up. But. We'll catch y'all next time. 
remember, you don't have too much fun.